Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video is we're gonna be using this Algenist Luminizing Drop. So for those of you who knows the usage of this, then yeah, just probably stop watching. And for those of you that needs help on how to use this Luminizing Drop right here, then continue, continue watching. We all know that this Luminizing Drop is supposed to be mixed with your foundation. That's part of my five ways to use the luminizing drops but there are times that this one doesn't work well with your foundation so i have more lists so that your luminizing drops will not be put into waste so without further ado let's jump right in <laughs> So I'm going to be dividing this space, yeah, that's the drill, so that we will have a good comparison between with and without luminizing drops. So this side right here, which is my left side and right side, your end, would be without luminizing drops and the other side is with luminizing drops. Basically, I have here two drops. So first one is we've got this Reveal Concentrated Luminizing Drops, which is intended to mix it with your foundation to give it a sheer and lighter complexion, I guess, effect. And the other one right here, this is this is by Algenist, and the other one is a glitter drop by Cover Effect. I've taken it into consideration to include this Cover Effects brand right here, but I have decided, I've changed my mind to just focus on one brand. So let me know by commenting down below if you want me to test this glitter drops. This is this one is really difficult to use because it has a very strong color. It has a gold color and if you want to see how this one looks in a brown skin and with a golden undertone skin, if you have that kind of skin, then let me know by commenting down below so I could test this one out. Okay, so let's just proceed. So I have six ways to use this luminizing drop. One of that is, as we all know, we could mix it with your foundation but if that one doesn't work then there are several ways to use that aside from mixing it with your foundation so the first one in my list right here is you could mix it with your primer so speaking of primer I haven't put anything on my face yet except my eyes so Algenist and I will be using the same brand Algenist this is their primer and it says you reveal color correcting radiant primer so like I've said earlier this part right here would be with luminizing drop and the other one is without so you want to see the texture of their primer so this is how their primer there looks like it's a bit the texture is not runny it's thick but I, you know what, I really love their primer because I am a, I have a very sensitive skin and it did not give me any breakout. So I'm going to apply this primer evenly on my face. I think this one right here, I'm going to apply it on my face because like I've said, this, I will keep repeating that this side right here is without um the luminizing i'm not gonna apply luminizing drop okay so that's how so okay so the the primer is there already now i'm gonna start applying primer on the other side with luminizing drop so i'm gonna mix this so this luminizing drop shade is, I forgot to say, it, said, it says here rosé, so it's pink. And I'm going to mix this pink right here with the primer there. And just probably mix it there and I'm going to start applying it on my face. Oh, so... Can you see that glow? So as you can see, it has obviously very visible sheen on my face right now. So again, it is mixed with, this side right here is mixed with a primer mixed with luminizing drop. And the other side, as you can see, it looks matte. Not literally matte because you can see like shiny thing right there going on but it's really different from the other side so that's how it looks this side right here is without and this side is 
with and you could use this like if you have a flawless skin like you're not scared to wear uh, to go outside the foundation then this one right this kind of technique primer and mixing it with luminizing drop will do the trick of giving you that luminous perfect glowy skin so that's how it looks right there now we'll proceed to what's the next in my list right here. Um, you could use it with your sunscreen. I found one since I've searched and it says here Petal Velvet Sunway. This is by the brand Althea Korea. This is SPF 50 for your face. So it says here Moisture Field Sebum Control. So I'm going to be mixing this one right here so you would have a good... You would really literally see how the... SPF looks like when it is mixed with luminizing drops so I think it's like similar to applying primer and the luminizing drop so this is how the primer uh, the SPF there looks like it's really white and it has a bit thick consistency then I'm gonna mix it with this luminizing drop it's not Oh, like that. Okay, so there you go. And then I'm gonna mix it. We'll see how this one looks like. Um, I'm gonna compare it with my other, like this side right here, and with the luminizing drop. So mixing it, and oh my god, I'm loving the effect of it, guys. Like. Be because you know what I have noticed that SPF it creates a white cast on your face like it's not normal so mixing it with the luminizing drop it looks the skin looks healthier and it has a sheen shimmery the skin really looks healthy compared compare it with the other side look at this one right here this one is more lighter and flawless like airbrush kind of flawlessness but the other side is like mm, my real skin and it looks dry. See the difference? You could really see the difference. It looks so pretty, right? Damn. So that's how, that's how, that's the effect of luminizing drops once it's mixed with your SPF. Now we'll proceed to the foundation because I haven't put any foundation on my face yet. So it's still the same. I'm going to be putting a drops on this side right here, right? will be your left side and then no drops on the other side the foundation that i will be using is this El elizabeth arden new york and this is in a shade warm sun beige um it's sun beige most of my foundations are sun beige but this one once applied onto my skin it's a bit lighter now we, now we will see if the luminizing drop would like extremely make the foundation even lighter than my skin okay so i'm gonna use my headband because my hair is my hair is on the way now i'm gonna be using a mark jacob brush and just transfer the product there and apply it on my apply it on my face so so what I love to do when it comes to my foundation, I'm just going to tap it using another brush. It's, this is a clean brush. Like that. With a mix of like doing like that brushing and then tap. And if it, I could still see some straight down there, I use, that's the time I'm going to be using a sponge, beauty sponge. Okay, so the product was distributed evenly. Now we'll proceed to the other side and I'm going to mix it with, it's the time to mix the luminizing drop. So, if mixing your foundation with luminizing drop doesn't work, then you could skip that. And that's why I've created this video so that you'll find ways on like creative ways how to use your luminizing drop instead of mixing it with your foundation and then i'm gonna use um sponge
there is a really subtle difference and the only difference between the two is I could still see like a bit oil like it looks shimmery right around here it's not totally matte it's a sheen but this one right here but this one I could only see the sheen as somewhere here but the rest it's really matte but this one right here with the luminizing drops it's like all over like from here up to like the entire face I could really see it's beaming it looks healthy especially if you just apply a not thick not a lot of amounts of foundation that would look pretty so that's how it looks in the skin once it's applied with luminizing drops i like it what do you think i like it now we'll proceed um since we've mentioned already the important usage of luminizing drops we still have probably two two things left undone so left and done. Two things that we haven't done yet. So the next one would be you could if none of those things that I have done work. Now this one would I hope this one works. And you could use this one as your highlighter. So yes, we're gonna do that. Now let me finish this look and I'll be right. Back. Okay guys, I am back now. Let's highlight this face. Um, I'm gonna be using my finger when it comes to highlighting my face because I've tried a liquid. I've tried this one using a brush and it really did, did, it really did move my products. Especially, I like putting heavier layers or coats on my face because of my blemishes. But I'm just gonna drop it like that. See that and just tap it gently like that see that glow so I could still see even though um, I've applied my powder my blush on evenly all over my face and I could still see this side right here it's beaming it looks healthier this one is more matte like extra matte after I apply the powder but yeah which you prefer this is more on a healthier side kind of makeup so that's the four steps on my list if all of those things doesn't work if you don't like this kind of healthy um not super striking kind of glow then the last thing that i would suggest is to if you want to highlight your um color bones then you can also use this luminizing drops right here you could even i think mix it with your lotion so that's it so let me give you a drop right there this would be the last step guys see that so it's a healthy kind of beam it's not intense but i like it so oops there nothing and summer hair it's it's just normal normal kind of glow so five not six so those are the five steps wherein you could use your illumin illuminating drops so if it doesn't work with your foundation then move on to the other list crazy so those are the five tips that i could share to you on how to use this um luminizing drop this one should be like a friend to all kinds of shade but sometimes it doesn't work it really makes your look lighter and even like it doesn't fit sometimes you know what you could really tell the difference if your face is lighter because of your neck if you don't include your neck then yeah that's a problem and sometimes you're if it doesn't work guys in short if it doesn't work then move on to the some of the things that i have mentioned like mixing it with your lotion or mixing it with your spf or the easiest way is to use it as a highlighter so that's it guys thanks for watching if you like this video then please don't forget to click the like button and if you're not subscribed then please do subscribe see you on my next post guys i love you bye